Well, I know some of y'all are probably waiting for the video of the 1966 Lady Kenmore set that I got for free. Well, I have lost my video camera. I've either thrown it away by accident in the basement cleanup, misplaced it, or it got stolen by the ravages of time or something. I don't know. No, I've been down here to steal it. Um, but, uh, as you can see here, this is our Frigidaire dryer. It's been in better shape. But, uh, dang, I forgot what was going on. Oh, uh, the reason I'm not making a video of it now is the washer broke. The spring that engages the agitator in the transmission has broken. So, even though I might have a small video of, on here of this camera, when they work, if I do, I'll post it. The washer is non-usable. The dryer is usable. Uh, actually, it's very usable. We put $31 into it and bought new idler, not idler, yeah, they're idlers. Tires, whatever, support tires. But you're probably also thinking, well, what are you going to do now that you don't have that one? Are you going to get the Frigidaire and all fixed? Answer is no. Answer is, we got a new washer and dryer. The third set of washer and dryer. This is a Sears Kenmore 800 series gas dryer that I can finally put in here. I don't have the matching washer. I just got the dryer and I got it for $15. As you can see, it has it's in a little bit of rough shape. Story is, um, it's back in the 70s, the woman I got it from. She uh, said that they tried to paint it for their mother on Mother's Day in 1972 when she was eight. Her 10-year-old sister helped, and they used dusty rose paint. Well, they tried to get it off. This is as far as I could get back then. Their, parent, her, their, their parents could. They weren't exactly happy. But I bought it for 15 bucks. It apparently works. i got to change the fittings on it, and i got to fix the cord because I plugged it in. Uh, the fluorescent light came on. There's a fluorescent light up in here, just like on the other Kenmore. Dryer lights burn out. But I hit start, it turned on for a second, and then BOOM! And there was flames. Uh, plug shorted to ground and burned up. So... Gotta replace that. I got a new cord from the guy I got the washer from. I'll show you the washer in a second. But, uh... As for the Frigidaire set, we paid too freaking much to just throw them away, so they're gonna be turned into tables out in the garage. If anybody wants to buy a really cheap set of stands in the Georgia area, or if you want to just come and get them, I think probably like, I'll insert price in the description. I'm going to have to ask my mom what she wants to sell them for. We're also going to put them up on Craigslist. We're going to sell the platforms. Yeah, they're in pretty good shape. No, a little bit of rust, but no, there's a lot of people with these washers and dryers. But uh, if y'all know about the washer, the washer, the spider broke on the back of the drum and it flung the drum around inside and broke the front seal loose. The dryer doesn't get hot. It's gas, it cycles the heat, the, the gas burner, the gas comes on. It just doesn't get hot enough and don't know exactly what's wrong with it. It's just not worth it. But uh, at least we got another old washer, and I'll take y'all and show y'all the other washer we're gonna get to replace that one. I have to say, sorry I'm out of breath. This has got to be some of the toughest paint to remove off of anything I've ever seen. Uh, this started out as a new Mr. Clean sponge. You'll notice that a quarter, a third of it is missing. And all I've been able to do is this. Oh. And it's most definitely paint. It comes out like that, kind of like looking like milk. And I just realized moving it in, I did this. That's part of the junk pile, and I didn't know there was a can of paint in it. Great. <laughs> Still working on dryer. 
I have remembered something because I ran out of Mr. Clean sponges. There are two things that Windex is really, really good at. Three things. Well, as we all know, one of them is cleaning carburetors. Second thing is it's okay at cleaning glass. Third thing is when you want paint to stay on something, it's really good at removing it. When you want paint to come off, it's really, it's pretty good at it too. So I'm just going to spray this all down and let it sit. In about 10 minutes, I'll come back and peel the paint off with that rag. <laughs> but, uh, I also want to show you, we can still kind of read this here, which is called the Consumer Checklist. See, here's Kim Moore, Consumer Checklist. It lists some of the features, or at least what I can read is some of the features. It says heating input ranges. This is a 24,000 BTU an hour dryer. Apparently will dry two loads. Has a baked enamel cabinet and a dura something top. I think that's another word for baked enamel. <laughs> Pretty sure, uh, I think Lady Kenmore was a dotted line, so I think this is the thing below top of the line. So here's Kenmore 800. Has the fabric selector, the timer with the automatic electronic sensor, heavy duty, solid state, blah blah blah. Has a wrinkle guard, which, in case you're wondering, wrinkle guard is just a signal that goes off to let you know that your clothes are done so you can get them and hang them up before they get cold. <laughs> Not really that great of a feature. I uh, started working on the chrome, rubbing it down with Reynolds Wrap and water, and it's coming out okay. It's pretty badly pitted. But uh, compared from there to there, I think it's doing quite well. It's going to come out looking okay. I don't know what to do about the rust. Probably just leave it, paint over it with a... We have a little thing of touch-up appliance paint. But I thought I'd see if I could read any of this before I sprayed it down. Hmm. Oh, just tell me how to install it. Because I'm expecting as soon as the Windex hits that, it's going to turn the goo and come off. I don't know. It's kind of neat that it's still kind of there. You can tell that they really did paint this with a brush. Uh, I, I know it's kind of weird that the top's the only thing painted. I think she said they were caught before they had a chance to do anything else. Uh, still gotta get it. Surprised the paint came off the bottom of the chrome really easily. But uh, I think these these washers and dryers from the 60s and 70s. You just gotta love the styling of them. I mean, 2007, 1970, whatever. 2007, 1970, whatever. And the fact that this one lights up and that one doesn't, <laughs> it's just kind of neat. Kind of love the knob too. Automatic and time dry. Well, we got it all together. I haven't finished cleaning it up yet, but as you can see, we have made one hell of a difference. Everything's all lit up. And it's running. Very quiet. Get the gas supply hooked up. Don't bitch, I know my dog's bad, but it's holds together. Let's see here. Okay. Thank you. Just gotta get some washer in here so we can get some wet clothes to put in it. Okay, here we are. Here is the washer. It's not lit up or Kenmore or extremely old, but it's a Whirlpool, and it was only 50 bucks. The guy we got it from was really nice. The guy here in Dallas, he repairs them. And he just had to get rid of some of his extra inventory. He ended up giving us new hoses, which was nice of him. 
putting that thing on and he replaced the feed dogs even though he really wasn't going to do that but we talked for a long time and I'm probably going to have him fix the, the 66 Kenmore it's pretty clean inside there's a little bit of rust around the edges of the inside of the thing but for a $50 washing machine it's in good shape see I think I even have his car now they really helped that since this is worldwide and he's just in friggin uh Freaking Dallas, Georgia. But publicity is good publicity. Sam's appliances, sales service, and parts. Sam Lanzo. Nice guy. <sighs> but uh, gotta get that frigidaire moved out somehow, and I'm gonna get this thing moved in. Hook it up, and we'll see it run. Okay. The washer and the dryer together, finally. You'll notice that some jerk put the leveling feet on the dryer all the way up. Because he used to sit on top of shag carpeting. So it's like an inch and a half above the drawer of the washing machine. And please don't mind the background music, that's the next video. Um, this is the first try. Everything plugged, hooked up in there. Got filled with various things. Wow, it definitely feels faster than the 66. Here's the model number. 9100X1WO. Stock number LA9100T. Don't know when that means it's from. I'm gonna guess 91. He said it was about 10 years old. So, I don't know. Okay, it's running. Just mirrors, it sounds like it's saying pudding cup. Let's just be hungry. Agitation is strong, that's good. That's what the 66 wasn't doing. Its agitation wouldn't start for like 20 minutes. You had to sit there with it. Well, hopefully this will turn out well. Thanks for watching. Um, I figured out one bit is this is better at than the Kenmore. You can catch it during fast rinse. Ah. Holy crap, let's go to fast as that. Top is almost completely clean. I can't believe it. It's a nice looking washing machine. Back up a second. It's a nice looking dryer. Can't wait to use it.